You know, you say that there's, you know, this is uh, her father's son. But I got to ask you, if it comes back, uh, and you said your relationship with the little boy is not going to change at all. Never. But will your relationship it. with her change if the it little boy's changed. not your father's? I, I wouldn't want our relationship to change because that's her child. At the end of the day, she could be like, you'll never see him again and there's nothing I could do about it. So I would want us to be adults so we can still but you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to take somebody that's been good to your little boy she out of their life. Had. This you? is the thing. I have to protect my children at the end of the day, Steve. I do not trust my child around her after what happened. I do not trust because her. Because she got in a car accident? No, because of the inconsistencies in the story. Do you see what I mean? What's the thing that you want most today? The thing I want most is, one, to clear my name, to show you that this little boy is your father's legacy, and that's what I want. And so the thing I want the now. most that regardless if you fail or pass your lie detector test, an apology will start a whole new chapter in this life. And I just want us to get back to co-parenting this little boy because you are too. all we have left exactly. of his father. Y'all are all I have. Y'all are all I have. Um, Naisha, you took a lie detector test concerning the accident. Yes, I did. Uh, and we asked you, before impact, did you see the white pickup truck driving erratically? You answered yes. Before impact, did you take evasive action to avoid being hit? You answered yes. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Naisha told the truth. I tried my hardest to get out of his way because I knew he was going to hit those babies. So the uh, fact so that I, I even had to answer those questions, okay. that hurts me because you know I, I love them more than anything. So I will anything. apologize for your act, by the accusations I have made because as a woman, I'm wrong. But just how you needed your proof and closure, I had to have proof to and for I, my I kids get to that. feel safe I get with her that, against you. But you know I would never do anything so to So I apologize, them. but I had to know because the way with so many people in our mix, instead of it just being me and you, and then you turn on me, Niaja, I don't know what to believe. You're not on my side anymore. Do you see what I mean? I just I get, didn't I know what say. to I do. Get, I, get, I understand completely what you're saying, but you also have to understand where I'm coming from. I need to know for closure for me Oh, I'm here. That this I'm is here. Mouth been swabbed, I'm here. I have nothing my to hide. My mouth's been swabbed, his been I'm swabbed. Here. We good. We're ready. All right, this is a DNA test concerning uh, your three-year-old son, who you believe is your biological brother. And, uh, Taisha, your three-year-old son is not Naisha's brother. Listen, I'm happy. I don't yeah. have to deal with that. But here's a woman that for three years is raising a baby, mm -hmm. helping raise with you, mm -hmm. that she believes that is her dead father's right. child. Right, and that's the only pain that I feel is that I hurt that little girl right there. No. I feel bad that I hurt her because she did not have to do the thing she did for me and my son. I'll give you a piece of advice. I know this hurts you because, like I said on stage, I do believe that... Um, some of this, what you're hoped for, is that your father's living on. But he's not living on in a little boy because it's not his son. He's right. But he's living right. on with you. That's he's living on through And me. you're... Um, wow. And I apologize, my Asia. Wow. And, you know, as, as you go through life, you kind of realize, you, 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 when you're younger, you think you have a lot of people in your life that you can yeah. count on. But you really don't. I mean, it's a really small number and, and a small circle. 
you don't want to throw it all the way over this. No. I mean, I would hope not. No, absolutely not. Right now, Is I'm Is there anything you want to say to her? <sighs> say what you got to say, no. This I mean, is what we came here for. This is what we came here for, but I didn't come on TV to bash you. Right. I'm an adult, I'm you're an adult. At the end of the day, this is on TV, so these kids are going to see this, and I don't want them to grow up and see us on TV acting like this. That's not what I want for them. So... I accept your apology because people make mistakes. And you know, I you did. made a mistake and you and you believe you believed that that was my dad's son and I believed with you. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes. I, I completely accept your apology. To know that he has a living father is bittersweet because I have to kind of close this chapter that I don't have the legacy of her father, but I do still have her if she does keep her word. Yes, I will. I, but I do. My father. I'm still I'm inside. Not I'm so happy for my child to know that he has a dad. And that's actually what he needs, though. <laughs> Even though I wanted him to be my brother and us to share a dad, the fact that he has the opportunity to grow up with a dad I, means I, more to me. And I, I don't know if you can answer this question, and you might not be able to answer it right now, but is it possibly the guy who started the rumor? It is he, him. It is him. It is him. Well, so he didn't start a rumor. He was stating fact. At this point, yes, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, the truth was revealed in a good way with mm -hmm. the accident and right. for her a uh, negative way because your father's not. But maybe your son has a chance of having a relationship with his real father. All I can do is thank you, Steve. Good luck to you. Thanks for coming on the show. Hope it works thank out you. Good luck thank to you. Thank you. <laughs>